Ooh, what a good weekend to be a Godzilla fan. Hoo-hoo-wee, Big G, stomping all over the place. That's right, friends. I'm the man you may know as Z, and I am from Our Reviews Will Kill You, and I'm here to tell you I saw Godzilla Minus One this weekend, and woof, wow, what a movie. I cannot recommend it enough. Truly, if you're a kaiju fan, it was definitely a masterpiece. Probably top three, you know, you got to remember, there's like 30-something, 30 36 Godzilla movies. Top three Godzilla movies. Top three kaiju movies, maybe top five kaiju movies of all time. Could be the best Godzilla film I've ever seen. I'm still digesting it. I'd like to see it more than once. It's, it's kind of a toss-up because... I'm a really big fan of Shin Godzilla, and I understand Shin Godzilla. Maybe the pacing is is better in this one than than the original, or than this one. And then there's always the 1954 original Godzilla, so it's really hard to say. But either way, he's in great company. This is a great movie, had a lot of heart, and it did really good over the weekend. And what's shocking is the budget was only 15 million dollars, is what everybody's out there reporting. So kudos to Japan, keeping your budget in line and, and you should make a lot of money. Um, let's take a look at what the weekend looked like for Godzilla and hopefully good word of mouth spreads. Now it's real hard because Godzilla is a, it's a non-English speaking movie. But what's interesting is the best domestic debut for a non-English live action film in over two decades. I did not know that. That is pretty impressive. Uh, I wonder if it would do well dubbed in English. Hard to say. I don't know. I enjoyed it in Japanese. I always do tend to watch things in Japanese if I can help it, if that's the original. Um, some dumbs are good. It just depends. But this was this was really good. What I'd like, I don't want to spoil too much about it other than you should see it if you're a Godzilla fan, if you're a disaster fan, if there, there's a nice, there, there's romance, a little bit of that. There's a little bit of family tension, things like that. Um, the original Godzilla seemed like it was an allegory for Japan's fear of nuclear war. And this really seemed like it was the summation of survivor's guilt, of those who had survived the war in 1945 and uh, to give a brief summation, it's about a, uh, a kamikaze pilot who fled after the final orders had been given for him to to fly out and you know suicide bomb him. You know uh, he had been given orders and he defied those orders and now he's an outcast and he has to deal with that survivor's guilt. And it's about Japan looking forward to the future from you know the way things had been handled in the past and the way honor was considered in the past to what it is for the future. And it really deals with a lot of heavy emotional elements, which I really, really enjoyed. So it, overall, the box office was um, uh, grossed $11 million in its first three days setting a record for foreign language titles the film exceeded expectations with a worldwide gross of approximately 35 million against a reported budget of 15 million sounds freaking awesome it's got a 97 percent score on rotten tomatoes i mean what are you going to say negative about it and i don't think you necessarily have to be a godzilla fan to watch it like you're going to get a little bit of what you want it, it, i think it's a pretty good uh date movie if you want to go out on a date uh, debuted at the number three chart in the domestic charts, right behind uh, a Beyonce film <laughs> and Hunger Games. Uh, but it beat out Trolls Band Together and Wish. Hilarious. And the only foreign, the, the, the most recent foreign language action debut was Jet Li 2002 debut uh, or Blockbuster Hero, which grossed $18 million in its first weekend. That's crazy. Um, it's already grossed over five times what uh, Shin Godzilla did. Shin Godzilla is such a weird movie, though. I think you really have to, like, that one can't be placed above this one because this one is closer. It's kind of a a take on the original Godzilla versus Shin Godzilla is a distortion of Godzilla. Like, you don't need to watch Godzilla to understand it or know anything about Godzilla whatsoever. But I do think... 
um, it, it, you know, it's a deconstruction of Godzilla in some ways, and it's more about the uh, Fukushima uh, disaster, the tidal wave and the nuclear disaster and the government's response to it. So, yes, in case you didn't notice, I am a uh, Godzilla fan, if you can see in the background. Quite a few Godzillas back here, so... So I want to do another reaction. I want to react very briefly to the Godzilla X Kong, the new empire, which they have but a release this weekend. And the Monarch Legacy of the Monsters is live streaming, which I have not seen but heard pretty bad things about. Uh, Godzilla vs. Kong franchise did pretty good. So here we've got a pink Godzilla. I don't know what's going on here. But uh, he looked kind of cool, looked kind of angry. So Godzilla and Kong, uh, this time they team up. I guess to defend the Earth against a really mean, a much meaner monkey than King Kong. I don't know. It's what it looks like. I mean, that's what I saw in the thing. I, I don't really know. It looks okay. I'm not going to say I'm as excited for this as I was for Godzilla Minus One. This is definitely an American version and kind of weird. And I don't know what's going on there. There are way too many writers on this. There's one, two, three four five six seven eight nine oh they're all producers there's way too many people on this they're paying way too many people for a, mo a movie that will ho you know hopefully does okay but probably won't do that great um i am not even sure how they keep making these things but you know what i will go and see it uh i think hopefully it stays true to what what they're doing that the this godzilla is i don't know i guess this will be the 38th movie in the franchise so Holy cow. And the 13th King Kong video, and it looks like there's a baby. I think added a kid. Like, come on, man. Don't add a kid. I guess you needed some stakes for King Kong. Whatever, man. Uh, I'll see it. I, I don't really have super high expectations. Maybe you saw it and you thought it was amazing. Let me know down below in the comments. I'd, I'd love to hear about this, whether or not you thought this was awesome. But I'm definitely very happy Godzilla fan right now. Very happy. It was it was a great, great weekend. Either way you look at it, we got something new coming to look forward to, and I saw something absolutely mind-blowing. The sound was amazing. I mean, it's not a perfect movie, but it's like, uh, if you want a numeric grade for me, I give it like an 8.5, maybe a 9. It's pretty close. Uh, it's definitely a masterpiece. So uh, check it out, friends. Check it out. And while you're checking that out, check us out. Give us a thumbs up, like, share subscribe all those things help us quite a bit and what you could also do is check out our our podcast it is at uh itunes spotify stitcher and we live stream it here on youtube 7 30 p.m come join come hang out we do have memberships you can do super chats all that good stuff and more thank you so much for checking us out here but i'm on to the next one